Guys, today we are here with my brand new vacuums. Just got home from the store with them. I hit the store. I hit Goodwill, got them. I got bags and stuff for them. One of them's real messed up, and I'm not sure why. Crap, I don't think those bags are going to fit. Alright guys, here's what I got. A Dirt Devil MVP. It's a Dirt Devil Magnum MVP. For $6. And a Dirt Devil Featherlight. For $9. I googled these things. I did not find any. Now, it's got no hose, no tools, and no hose or tool holder. So, I don't know what's up with this thing. I don't know if they never came with them or what. But, I do have it in my possession right now. Not sure how to change a bag on this. Never mind, it just slides in and out. Let's see if type U with it. Alright, so type U fits. Hey Brandon, I just got a Dirt Devil MVP, so that's one of my newest vacuums. This MVP needs some hella work. The MVP needs work bad. Actually, they both need work, honestly. And I bought Hoover bags hoping they'd fit, but I was wrong, they don't. But the Dirt Devil bags I did buy for this Dirt Devil do work. One of them, the freaking MVP, has no hose. No hose holders, no tools, none of that. So I don't know what's with the MVP, but I regret, I, I've been kicking myself for a long time for not getting the one I did find. Because this isn't my first MVP. I found one a while back. No hose, no hose. Like, look at the bag. Like, legit, dude. It's wrapped up where the hose should go. It legit has no hose at all. It runs. I, I tested it, but it's clogged real bad. It's had water run through it. But legit, look at this. Very strange. I know, right? There's just this little cap here. that I can't currently get open but it, it runs it's I think got a good belt but I can't get this knob it won't go to tile floor mode so they're both gonna get torn apart and because they've had run, water run through them I'm putting on gloves I actually bought gloves for these things just because I honestly don't know what they were used for I got them from Goodwill. I don't need herpes or something from them. I didn't put it on the right hand. That's lovely.
So yes. No hose, no nothing. I'm pretty sure they both came from the same owner. Because they both have the same dirt in them. But I have been kicking myself for a very, very long time for not picking up the MVP I saw. Now, I found one with all of its tools, everything, at Goodwill, but it was $30, and I never got it, and I've been kicking myself since. But yeah, I got gloves on. That's how cautious I'm being with this. Now, I have a bag on it. I just want to... I'm probably going to bypass this little bag holder just for now. Now let's take the little filter out. Filter's disgusting. Nothing but dust in this thing. So this thing's going to get completely torn apart. got it into the brush shutoff mode it says with motor guard so I don't know whatever that means but this is gonna go off to the side for right now because this blue dirt devil now I know the MVP works I saw the M MVP and was like okay I can't leave that I was actually risking not getting this blue dirt devil just so I could get the MVP because there was no way I was going to leave the MVP again. I never knew how rare they were when I first found mine. But for six bucks, I understand why it was six bucks. I know for a fact why it was. But still, an MVP is an MVP. You can't really leave them. Wow, this is a stupid base plate. I found a dirt dub or Abyssal Power Force Turbo at the Goodwill. The exact same model I had, except for it actually had the turbo brush holder and turbo brush. And I left it because I had just gotten rid of mine. Um, yeah, felt bad. But I don't care about the belt. just not take a type 4 or 5 belt? No, it probably does. Alright. Now, I do need to inspect the fan and stuff. And I'm gonna completely overhaul this whole thing, so... This thing's getting torn apart to the motor. It's gonna get a full rebuild. Only if I can figure out how to take the cover apart. Okay. Alright. There seems to be a clip here. A clip here. And if it's anything like an elite, there would be a clip at the back, too. Alright. Clip that side's done. Clip on that side's done. Does anyone know how to take these things apart? I just got on the stream, what'd you get? I got... I got a Dirt Devil MVP and a Dirt Devil Featherlight. An older Featherlight, not a newer one. I'm taking it apart right now. But I don't understand why this doesn't have a hose either, dude. I gave up on trying to figure that out at the store. But I can't, there, there's a lot of things I can't figure out with this thing. But I don't understand, this does not have a cord hook. It doesn't have a lot of stuff, so. And it's going to get rebuilt. And I'm going to need to see if, like, Backmaster, someone's got a uh, 
MVP with like a blown motor, but it's got a hose and stuff. They don't, that they don't need, because this thing's gonna need it all. But yes, I do know that these things are rare. How do I take the blue cover off this? If someone can help me. Because I'm just going to wash the whole thing. So if someone knows, how do you take the cover off one of these? Hey, there's a little suction release valve in this. It's gonna have something to do with this guard, with these three little like clasps. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, legit. I don't know how to take this thing apart. So that's gonna get put up to the side because I can't figure out what I'm doing. Alright. Looks like I am working on the MVP now. Now, this thing is very, very clogged. Like, very clogged. And it uh, also has sucked up water. I've found that out. And it looks like the brush is burned. So. Nozzle cover screw. Nozzle cover tab. Alright. I may I may figure this out. There's like a little button right here. But yes, I saw the MVP and I was like, I can't I, I can't leave that thing. Because I know no one's going to buy it with the shape it's in. Okay. Half the nozzle's coming off. i got to take that screw out. I'll go to this side and take that screw out. Okay. Okay, pop that tab. Pop that tab. Alright, the cover's off. Wow. What an overcomplicated vacuum. No wheels really don't do anything. I'm gonna put LEDs in it. Oh, I just killed a spider nest. Sorry about all your babies. All right, I'm gonna put LEDs in it. So I'll be right back, guys.
horrible person. Thank you. Where could I you put them? them? I put them up here. Oh, well, they're probably gone forever then. <laughs> Trying to find my LEDs. They were a really small bag. There were 30 of the things. Only 30 of the LEDs, so we can't lose them. a lot of stuff. Oh well guys, I'll just have to clean these lights off. That was my mom. He playing too much. I'm not playing. Yes, the Magnum ran. I was looking for the lights for it. That was my mom who came through the door. We were looking for my LED lights. Because I left them on the table a couple weeks ago. And she put them somewhere. And we don't know where they ended up. They were only, I think it was like Five dollars for thirty nine twelve LED lights. Oh my god, the state of this vacuum motor though. It literally has like a broom vac motor in in it. Like legit, it looks like it has a broom vac motor sitting in it. And judging from the crap that's in it, it probably has some really screwed up bearings, which would be why the brush was so screechy when it ran. Oh, never mind. I thought it was your sister. I don't have a sister. A broom vac motor? What? Not like a broom vac motor, but like a dirt double hand vac motor. Like, it's got a motor like that in this thing. I probably shouldn't have done that. Wow. Yeah. There we go. There's the brush. And it's deteriorating belt. Alright. Take the little belt out. Here's the belt for this. It's like a Kirby belt. It's probably a very small version of an orc belt. Now I gotta find the release pedal again. Where is it? Alright. This motor just has build up everywhere. No, 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 I'm talking about the brush motor. 
This is just the motor for the brush roll. Look at it. It literally looks like the motor of a broom vac. Look at that motor, though. Why have a motor like this just for the brush roll? Here's the state of the brush roll. They don't spin very well, so add to the list. Here's the filter. Getting a Dyson DC33. That's cool. They're decent little machines from what I've heard and seen. But no, I'm going to be tearing this thing apart. So you're about to see the... It is a cheap brand. Yeah. I know. And believe it or not, guys, I don't have a tripod, so you're actually held up right now via Hoover. A Hoover M Power is holding you guys upright. We're about to take the front motor cover off. Go that way, Eureka. Oop, I'm sitting on a screw. Motor screw one. Nothing. Well, oh, that was a cheap brand. It is a cheap brand, but no, the DC-33s, they seem like good vacuums. I mean, I love my 14, and that's really all they are is a revamped 14. Oh, it's already got a screw. There's already been a screw taken out. I have four here, and there's, there's five screws on this, and I only have four, so it's been taken open. This was serviced. There's a little service sticker with a date in it. 98. July of 98. That's what the sticker says. What vacuums did you get? I got a Dirt Devil MVP and I got a Dirt Devil Featherlight. Only my MVP is not a regular MVP, it's a. Magnum MVP. Okay. Ooh, God. I'm not sure how to even take apart a motor on one of these. There's another sticker on it. 120 volts. GS Electric 9498 So this cover and this motor have a different uh, sticker on them. That makes me wonder if this is the motor of an original MVP and these parts got replaced with a higher end MVP. And I can't get the motor to slide back. open up this cartridge I can't get the motor back in so it's gonna come out just for a second look at this seal that's a seal that's probably gonna need cleaned I'm pretty sure this main, this whole thing's clogged. Oh god, you can hear the screws snapping out. Uh, Featherlight is 
I'd say probably 2002. And a strip screw. Wow, this thing has to have been taken apart before. No, on the Magnum. That's got the strip, strip screw I'm trying to take out. Wow, there, oh my god, it's not a strip screw. It had like a nail in the thing. Here was screw number one. Here was screw number two. God, this poor, this poor MVP. I'm not sure even what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, this thing's motor is huge. I unplugged something when I got the thing out, so I got to get it all back in. Jesus. All I'm seeing here is an overly complicated dirt devil that was probably sold for a lot of money. And his motor is rusting out. I can't even get the whole motor back in. So it goes in like this. Alright. I figured out how the motor goes back in. Let me go clean up the seal, guys. I'll be right back.
Alright guys, I'm coming back. I have cleaned up the seal. Let's just read chat. It doesn't have a date code. It has been through hell. It's had water run through it, so. This just goes to show, though, people don't take care of the things that they buy. And I don't know how this seal goes back in. I mean, I do, but, like, I don't understand how I get the whole thing back in. It's a really fat seal and a very smallish gap. Okay. Okay. I just kind of went in easier than I thought. Alright. It's in there tight. And I'm hoping that clip stayed in, because then the thing may not turn on. Or the brush won't work. That's what the clip powers. Alright. Now I'm seeing how it works. When you slide this over to this floor offsetting, it pushes a little lever down that hits a little control arm to shut the head off. And also you can tell it's been bashed into something real hard. Hey, there's another date code. No, it's not. I think I'm gonna wash this whole head. I'll be right back, guys. It needs washed real bad. Here's a before of it. All nasty and stuff.
nozzle came out great. So I'm just going to start washing all the plastics. There's not a lot of carbon dust in this. And I know it hasn't been replaced. Not since the day it came out, so. Micron Fresh. I don't really think I can wash that, I'll just vacuum it out. But this, with the date stamp, I'm going to scrub. So what if I lose the date stamp? stickers on this? No, but I don't want to get that way. So. Alright guys, time to go wash the main bin. I forgot to take the bag and the bag, fill bag wine piece out now. And a bit of a pickle. Not to mention all kinds of like wet debris that's in this thing. It's got it all clogged up. I gotta try to break this thing free. Just ain't coming out. It's got a handle screw missing. I cannot get this freaking hose piece out.
I know it's clogged. I gotta go take this. Alright guys, I know it's been weird with me jumping everywhere. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this fill tube out. It, it does run though, so that's a big whoop. I wish I had my LED lights for it. There's actually something, with, there's two vacuums with LED lights in them right now that I don't use. They really don't need LED lights in them. All right back. Rawr. Let's see what I've seen, missed in chat. Whoop whoop. Do you eat pickles? I do eat pickles. Um, pickles are nice. But no, this Magnum is. It's had better days. I think it, if. If I could get tools and stuff for it, I think it could live a long time. I really do think that if I could get some stuff to get this thing going again, I do think it could go for a good while now. That ain't this brush. This thing's brush just needs cleaned. It spins pretty good. So here's the feather light I got.
but here it's the main attraction. The MVP. Now the MVP, maybe one of the biggest restoration projects I'll be working on for a very long time. I'm actually going to have to unclip this headlight and take apart this whole thing. So I gotta go grab my oh wait, no I, I don't gotta go grab my screwdriver, so I brought my screwdriver with me. I did plug this in at the store, it did run, it, I really can't say it sounded great, but it ran. I mean, it sounded like, I guess, how an MVP should sound. I mean, the motor's going strong still, so... I think I found the clog. I legitimately think I found the clog. Because I knew this was clog when I ran it. <laughs> I think it's clogged by a giant Lego piece. And I'm not sure how this thing connects. I'm really not sure at all. So. Nope. Bye. I had no clue that guy was even talking in this chat. Yes, a Lego piece. I seriously think there's a Lego piece in this. That's cool, Sean. I, I don't really know what's wrong with this thing other than the fact it's been put through hell. Oh, God. Oh god, it's part of a thermometer. It's clogged. I can hear it. It's truly clogged. It, it has to be. Oh shit. I'm not sure what I just disconnected, but it cannot be good. Oh, this cannot be good. This ain't good. Alright. 
Now where's it connect to? Okay, yeah, I made an uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the bottom wheels out, like legit. That's the only way to do this is to take these wheels out. That was a sponge pop. <laughs> uh, nicely. message leave out oh my god it fucked oh my god no why did it block out buster oh my god my phone's so stupid i can't believe it just did that i tried to block out the freaking mic the fake michael and <sighs> rip buster seriously block off suction when it's not upright it does this thing cuts off suction when it's not when it's in upright mode Oh my god! Can these fake accounts go away? Guys, just ignore their comments. They're just hella jealous. All we can do is just keep blocking them. But we've already seen a Michael. We've seen a, uh, I think, Braden fake account now. I don't think we've seen a fake account of Buster yet. So. There's only so many people in the vacuum group, so hopefully they'll run out of usernames to type.
And here's the recline wheels to it, so. Oh my god. I can't with this vacuum. The only thing that's kept me from... <laughs> you can probably get one at a local Goodwill or something. They're not very hard to find. I have found three or four of them. I actually found a Bissell today at the local thrift store that I went to. I went to Goodwill. And they had a Power Force. It was red. 